right, we'll call the meeting to order, 602. We good to go, everything's good, audio and video, okay. First on the agenda is to approve the agenda. Um, anything that we need to add or amend to the agenda? I, I yes. believe Therese has one or two. Just one. Um, the Chris, the uh, roof bid for the town office, I had gone through all the bids and talked to the guy and, and um, you know, hired the roofer, and then I realized it was coming out of capital money. So I need you to make a motion to award the contract to So roofing Bob bid Connick. for a town office, you want to put that, like, behind the American Rescue Plan sure. Act yep. discussion? Yeah, Christian Hill Road bids were in on Friday, and I'm just going through them now. So, but that doesn't come from okay. capital money, so I can award so roof that. Roof bid, capital money. Yep. So my bad. Sorry. All right. Note on your evaluation. Yep. Please do yeah, big letter. <laughs> but I did do a spreadsheet, <laughs> which I can go over for you when I get it. Okay. All right. Anything else? Move to approve the agenda as amended. <coughs> Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Let's have it. And we do not have any appointments this evening, so we'll go right to public comment. So if there is anything, uh, there's one whole person out there. Hi, Lenny. Lenny will have to fight people for uh, the public comment period if, if you chose to share. I do have something for you. Um, have you had any update? Ooh, did you have any updates on what's going on with the... Uh, Pride Fest this year for Bethel. Have you heard anything? Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. We just need to make you louder. Okay. Yeah, I lost you. I lost your side for a little bit there. Okay, it's perfect. We can hear you now. Sorry okay. about that, Lenny. Have you received any updates on what's going on for the Pride Fest this year? Um, I don't think so. Well, I'll give you a uh, just I'll the EI. give you a little update. So we have okay. secured we have secured the venues. Um, Thursday night we're going to do a trivia night. Um, Friday night it's going to be at the White Church from six to nine. We are going to have um, a pride for a prom for all ages. So it's going to be a prom. A prom. Uh, what t well, Thursday night trivia night? Where are you doing that, babes? It's gonna Do be you know babe. what time? I'm just oh, trying to put what? details in the minutes. I'll send. I'm gonna send. I can send you. We have flyers for things as well. Each one, so uh -huh. I will make sure you get a copy of that. It has the times, the dates, and where the ven and the venues. Okay, I had seen the prom one, but not the other. So if you send me them, then I'll make myself a note to look for your email so that I Great. can put the details in the minute. Okay, I'll, I'll and, get that to you. And we'll post them at the town. Perfect. Post them, yeah, so. so things are shaping up. Things look good. We're getting volunteers now, um, and we're looking to get sponsors for some more sponsors for it. So um, we'll, I'll just keep you up to date on what's going on and how that's shaping up. But it's going to be the weekend of... Again, from the 24th to the 27th of June, I think, believe that is off the top of my head. Let me just double check on that. Yeah, so it's Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It's 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th. We're also going to do um, just a family discussion on queer and sober. Um, so that's where we're that's where we're headed right now, and people are signing up for it. So it's in good shape, and it's moving forward. Perfect. Thanks. I will put the details in the minutes. Yeah, and I'll send you and I'll send you that information so that you have it. Thanks. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. All right. Anything else, Lenny? You're you're it. So. Uh, I'm, no, I'm, I'm good. Oh, I, did, I did speak to, um, I did let the EIC know that they, they are going to look into the stats for the police, the state policing thing and get back to you on that. So I did broach them with that. Okay. Perfect. Well, Thank other, you. Other than that, I'm good. How is everyone? <laughs> We're good. Thank you. Pray, praying for warm weather and more days, more days like this. Yes. Less Less snow. 
I won't be here for the next meeting, for the next few meetings, because I'll be out of the country for a little bit. Oh, good. Well, have fun. All right. Yes, safe travels. Uh, one, one question I had, Lenny, um, mm -hmm. looking through the EIC's committee's meeting, um, the, um, the agenda items for tomorrow night's meeting. Mm -hmm. um, I guess one question I had was, that would be good information to have, is in regards to the, um, the declaration of inclusion piece, uh -huh. is it, does your committee have any information in regards to uh, the number of communities in Vermont maybe that have adopted something like yes, that? Yes, they do, okay. and I will make sure to get that to you. Yeah, that would be good. I was, I was reading through it, and it would be kind of good information to have, so. I'll pass that on. Perfect. All right, unless we have any other public comment, um, we will move forward to business. Uh, we have a Tessie Tavern, um, third and first class liquor license and an outside consumption permit. Yep, so they're opening back up, which is great. Mm -hmm. So everybody's very excited about that, so. So I didn't, um, I guess the only question I had was on the outside consumption permit. And I, sorry, I did not do my homework ahead of time on this one. It just came to me as, we, we did have some um, noise issues. Years Prior ago. when yep. they had the outside going. But when we, when you approved. So has that been addressed? It was addressed at the time. And then when you approved it last time, we had the same question and there was no issues with them, but it was addressed at the, the time. the DRB yes. dealt with it a, a second time and, and because a neighbor was complaining about yep. the noise late after. Yeah, and I think lighting and, too was Yeah, and lighting, there. down with lighting was a, was a thing too, but I think the, the DRB dealt with it a second time. I think so, so too, and, um, the and previous, last time they had it, owners. we had no complaints <clears throat> right. at all. Right. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so we just need a motion to approve. Can we do it in one motion, or do we have to have separate motions? No, you can do it in one. I'll move that we uh, approve the liquor license applications from Tessie's Tavern. Second. Okay, all in favor? Five. Aye. All righty. <clears throat> All right, so we'll pass those around. Yeah, I just remember we had a discussion yeah, prior in no, regards to did. some complaints that we had gotten on. So you have to sign a couple this years one. ago there. Yeah, that's true. We did sign in three places. Dave, make sure you sign on the approval. <laughs> <laughs> you can throw things yeah. out. Next time yeah. we get yeah. a complaint, let me know and I'll go check it out. Yeah, exactly. Can, what, what can I get one? another egg? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you don't sign in the right place, it all goes bad after you. <laughs> yeah, it's all downhill at that point. Yeah, if you sign so in the wrong place, it's, it's all done. Starting it off. Well, it's actually starting to feel a little bit more like spring and I know. outdoor type activities. Nice this stuff. weekend was really nice and today was nice. Yeah. 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 Thursday is supposed to be 40. Nice. Oh, oh. oh it's not snowing. Yeah, as long as I don't have to shovel it. Oh, you know. A little bit of snow that we got at, at the beginning of last week there really greened things up. Well, it did. Yeah. Isn't that what they say is um, yeah. four man's fertilizer. Four man's fertilizer. Yeah, definitely. I saved you from the egg this time. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> I know it was so nice today. Yeah, it was nice. Friday.
Friday was nice too. They're doing some road construction <coughs> over on. I was driving to Brandon, so I was on. Uh, one yeah, and they had it stopped for a good, I don't know, I want to say like, if the, I think the max, is it true the legal you can do is 15 minutes that you can stop? I think they were right there. That's the guidelines. Yeah. But yeah, they were, they were pushing it as I know, far yeah. as they could. I don't blame them. Every time they had to stop, they would drag that metal plate over. I'm like, yeah, they were probably <laughs> not. That's a hard spot to yeah. fix. All right, next we had, um, uh, through talking about doing, getting ready to get some of the variable interest rates that we have out there, Teresa has been working on some fixed variable interest rates for a couple of things we had out there. One was to change the terms and agreements of the Mascoma Bank one, um, and then we also have the um, tanker truck. <clears throat> so as far as the Mascoma, I just wanted to remind, you know, we you knew when you signed it that it didn't that it gave you a fixed time period and then a variable time right. period. You knew For that so when you long. signed yeah. it. This just gives us an additional 36 months, which so you know we're still going to be fixed for a period of time, but we're going to have to you know um, keep that in mind. You know, a few years down the road, that we're going to want to look at it. But so the original loan, the original 2.75 million back in 2013, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Was that as a result of Irene, do we know? I'm just well, suppose curious. it was, it was, that's what it was borrowed as, but in reality, that couldn't have been right because um, when I, because Bethel was a three cent town, which meant that that was what the governor and the legislation did. You should have only paid three cents on your grand list. You were looking at less than $100,000. So I had gone back when I came as the finance person and went back several years and you know, the highway budgets were really seriously out of whack. And mm -hmm. it wasn't, that money wasn't recovered, you know, mm -hmm. through, through, through Irene, Fina if it was, I don't know. I even went so far as to meet with, um, oh, Jesus. Um, and meet with someone from town who seemed to have been the one who really understood Lucian Hinkle. He really understood the audits. And so I actually called him, Chris and I had met with him one time doing a budget. But when I came up with the data and look, 10 year look back, I called Lucian and said, you seem to be the one who's followed the audits and stuff. Does this make sense to you? And he's like, this is what I'm looking at for numbers. And he said, yes. Yeah. So it, mm -hmm. um, that was one of the reasons that um, because it's a debt, so we couldn't really bid it out anywhere. I mean, we did, mm -hmm. but you know, Mascoma was a take. I think at that time, it was debt financing. Think at that time, it shouldn't have been. It should not have been. Irene did. Yeah. Yeah. So at that time, we had done the math on. I think it came to around, maybe at the most, like three hundred and some odd thousand would have been Irene related, yeah. and then the rest of it was just some of it was things around Irene, like. Yeah. And, and I had I remember going to the board at that time and talking about Del Cloud on some paving that they were bidding on because they bid on like, you know. Um, Five or six hundred thousand dollars of paving one year, and going and saying, "You do realize that FEMA is not going to reimburse you for this. Like FEMA only reimburses you for exactly what got hurt in yes. the room. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. if you want to repair all this other stuff after the fact, that's on your dollar. And he didn't yeah. understand that. Yeah. So there was a lot of other stuff that we did, hmm. and maybe some of that stuff needed to be done. Oh, I don't know. No doubt. But yeah. and then there was some other things that tied into the, you know, the period of time of no audits, um, some budgets that were. Um, just overspent. Yeah, just overspent, over, you know, yeah. winter budgets and things like that. Because we were throwing salt around like mm. it was candy. Well, yeah, because it should know, not, yeah. A lot of things, so. I just wanted to, you know, I could see if it was some Irene stuff that had to get done and we were going right. to get reimbursed. I will say the know, majority of it when I looked back. it's two back, years after the fact, too. Right. When I went back 10 years, well, they had borrowed the money and they just kept renewing it, renewing it, renewing it. Yeah. So it was out of ways. And then, um, but oh. when I did the 10 year look back, it all came out of public works. The mm. majority of the mm. overspending came mm. from public works. But okay. anyways, I just wanted to remind you that this was... Um, and even with this, we still have a variable rate on the yeah. end of it, but this yeah. is going to give us an extra But because years. we did buy down, I will say this, we were owed money when I came and I finally hounded. That's what bought it down from two seven to one four is I oh. bought it down with the FEMA payout, with the FEMA money we did get. Um, so, but that was only like six, seven thousand, whatever it was, but it yeah. wasn't, obviously it left us still with debt oh, yeah. afterwards, okay. but, um, that's okay. what bought it down. Okay, thanks. So, of course, you said three years, but this 
note says 3% until April of 2032. I said 36 months. No, 30. I thought you said three what? years. So right now, Jean, right years? now, Sorry, the, the note know. that we have on this right now, Jean, is we have a fixed interest rate up until a certain point in the loan. And then after that point in the loan, it becomes variable. So I, it, correct me if I'm wrong here, I, Pretty sure what Therese said is she's bought us another three years of Third, yeah. fixed time. Yeah. It was already 3%. I just bought us another 36 months oh. at 3%. Okay. Yeah, 3%. but it won't be the entire note. We still will have variable interest towards the end of the loan unless we, at a later date, are able to maybe fix interest that piece as well. Yeah. That's not what this says. It's not three years from now. It's three years on the end of the fixed rate, which right. was not... Not oh, ending okay, right now. so it's from 30, so yeah, oh, 29 sorry. to 32. Yeah, sorry. I Thank guess you. Oh, well, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm so I'll, I'll just make it up. Three years from now. <laughs> right. No, oh, I see. no, no. I'm no. sorry. Okay. You missed a few years. And I got yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know okay. the exact, but it, you know, say yeah. we had 10 years of fixed interest with oh, I 10 got years it. of variable interest. Oh. Now we'll have 13 <laughs> years of fixed interest and I seven years of variable. I could have worded that better, Gene. I knew what I was saying when I typed it. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> I understand now. I just. I'm sorry. Yeah, I should have said that. And I think we're all, you know, no, in agreement of, you know, getting fixed interest rates. I mean, I just heard back today that the feds are looking at 75 point increase now yeah. um, between May and June. Yeah. So that's that? it's, it's a 75 doing. point increase, which is a three quarter. Oh, yeah. So that's from what I heard is like the largest increase since. Yeah whatever the yeah. 60s or something like that yeah. so uh, it's a big one coming so i guess we just need a motion to extend that fixed variable interest rate um at three percent so moved second okay all in favor aye. 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 all right does everybody have to sign this one yep, yep. gotcha make sure you sign up where your name's at so I sign under Dave Eddy. You can. I got this. Well, I'm on. As long as you have your signature down, you're good to go. <laughs> what, you sign it. I'll steal your pen again. And then the same thing with the tanker truck. It's a little weird. Yeah, um, that's for the remaining. This one was the weird one with the Kansas State Bank, right? Yeah, like I was reading. It. <laughs> and this is this is fixed for the rest of the. The, ratio. the end of the note. Yeah. Yeah, and it's a little cheaper interest rate and. Yep. This is the one that if we had, Thank you. when I asked the gentleman, because the, the tail end was variable, I said, if we fixed it right now, what would it be? He said five, or if we wait, he said uh, 5.2. I'm like, he's like, so we actually got a cheaper rate. I think we dropped from 3.6 to 3.53 if we fixed it for the remainder. Because yeah. I read it to Chris, there's this convoluted terms on how they calculated interest. And I asked him, I said, if you figured that out right now. And he was like 5.2. He's like, yeah, you're smart. You do it now before it. It's, it was basically like happen. a percentage over prime or something, right? Plus, remember, it was like plus, some crazy. Yeah. I'm like, I have never heard. So of we that. actually end up getting a better deal. I don't know. Uh, tenth and a half percent better deal right now than yeah. than, mm -hmm. than we had for the variable rate. Yeah. So. But it was a really was not a very straightforward loan. Yeah. It's a, Talked about it. I was. So I think I want to say it was like three point six nine or something. You're paying on it right now, yeah. or three point six two, something like that. But right. it was. So it, it was only going to go up from there. Yeah, it was not a good. I wish I could find the wording. It was in here somewhere, but um, it was pretty funny. So this one is the same. Um, other than this one, will um, secure the the full length of the remaining part of the loan for 3.53%. And then this one will need a motion to adopt the resolution and designate, do we both have to sign it? You have or to just sign, one but they have to allow me to talk to them about it at some point okay. if something comes up. So that's why, as authorized individuals to execute the refinancing. So you'll sign, but I- um, So authorize myself to be the signature on it and then Therese to yeah. be authorized an individual to have discussions in regards to yeah I, I spelled out Kansas the motion because he was pretty clear on what he needed so 
So moved. Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 And, I, and, and I believe that takes care of <clears throat> everything that we have out there right now that yep. we had liability for. You know, that we can, that we can deal with, yeah. Potential variable interest rates. Yeah, the good thing about the bond bank is they constantly are looking at it to see <clears throat> if they, you know, if they do, they'll, they'll um, you know, do it and refinance you know it automatically and I had sent her she had, well, actually had asked me about one it was the bond for here but because of the type of bond it was we get interest refunded to us two ways a year and so she said yeah I can't beat that rate so so right now we're in a better position so all right so you gotta sign like seven is times. this the one with the special pen yep there's okay. blue ink right there they said blue ink special pen blue ink Blue. No, I hand wrote that in my pen, but you oh. have to sign in blue. That's what she sent the guy. <laughs> <laughs> Check it. I'm trying to slip one by. <laughs> I don't know what kind of shady okay. system you get going on here, <laughs> Therese, but. That's it. <clears throat> yeah. That was in your back. I have to test your signature, I guess. Okay. No, that's different. Tanker truck needs a dozen signatures yeah, and exactly. a $1.4 million loan just needs one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it seems like this is adding up. Should I take time to read the fine print, trees? I wouldn't. I did, but I put it in your packet so you'd have time to do that. Have the uh, next is the uh, annual adoption of the local emergency management plan. Yep. So Kelly goes through it, I go through it, Dave Altrigetti goes through it, and then we, there's a, several forms. You have to send it to um, to the local regional planning commission, and of course there's contact information which the state gets and mm -hmm. all that. So um, that's something you do every year before May that every town does every year before me. Mm -hmm. Anybody have any comments with it? Good. Good to publish, good to go. That one's just... Um, Motion to adopt. Adopt and I, I sign it? I sign it and you sign it. I sign it because I have ICS 100 and 200 and you have to sign it as a chair. Okay. So we'll just need a motion to adopt. The Local emergency management plan. So move. Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Right. Yeah. We had um, results of the town meeting survey, so we've got some data back in our packet in regards to the questions that went out. I think right now is kind of more just um, the board, um, you know, kind of taking some time to look at the survey questions and answers and, um, and, uh, and I would say, well, <coughs> where appropriate for us to, you know, start um, talking about these as a agenda item um, if, if warranted. Um, I don't know if we really need to make any decisions tonight, but it's more of a, um, you quickly kind of just looking through it, it looked like question one, which is more more geared towards the planning commission. You know, it seemed like the responses were were relatively favorable for all three Which is choices. great. We're going to um, talk about this one at the planning commission meeting in May because Two Rivers is coming because we're part of that seven town consortium of updating our zoning regs. Sure. And I don't know if you guys got to go to one of those classes um, on the whatever date I'd mentioned, the 20. 20th and 21st. Yeah, 20th and 21st. I went to the 20th. I couldn't do the 21st, but very interesting the information that came out of there. We already knew that we were looking at, 
you know, like 4,000 housing units short by 2030. But mm -hmm. what he went on to talk about was how some of this is going to be peep towns, like figuring out with zoning. Um, the, you know, um, someone who still lives in a really big farmhouse, just mom and pop. And so how do we get them to make it more affordable for them? Maybe they end up uh, putting an apartment into the top of the house. Or one of the interesting things is condos, which you don't think of, but you could, you know, you take this house and you divide it in half and then they could keep theirs downstairs and then they could actually sell the top floor as a condo. So it's really interesting. Um, they're talking about trying to really figure out creative ways to increase density is not just subdivisions and new houses. It's mm. taking existing places mm -hmm. and turning them into duplexes. I mean, certainly Burlington did that. And I will say after having a daughter at UVM and lived in some real hovels that uh, they turned these big Victorians into really tiny, sometimes scrappy apartments, but they were putting a lot of people in a small spot. And um, that's kind of so how it is here. I mean, we, we have such a limited footprint. Exactly. In town, so it's, we don't really have a lot of options to to increase our footprint, but maybe right. some out of the box options to, mm -hmm. you know, so that'll be some of the change things existing we're talking about at, you know, at the planning commission meetings and that Two Rivers is kind of starting to talk to us about. And so it was good to see that people were mm -hmm. positive about us trying to figure out so how to increase density. Been any conversation about uh, tiny house, little tiny house community? Not that I've seven heard. seven or eight, you know. Yeah, I haven't heard about that. I did ask. Kevin Geiger and Stephen Bauer the other night at a meeting if they, I was looking for some names of some developers that might be interested. There's some, you know, there's a place down here, was at 104 North Main that burnt, I know they're interested in doing, you know, selling possibly that property. So mm -hmm. if there's, you know, are there some developers? You know, I did, I don't understand mm -hmm. the whole details of the bill that was passed, but it looks like there's certainly money going to be coming into the system from the governor to, um, which I, I readily admit, I don't know all the details about, about developing and trying to increase, you know, housing. There's a currently, so for, it's done county by county, but if you, uh, if you're willing to have your apartments, anything that you renovate or create into new apartments, the, they'll give you 30,000 per unit, but you have to agree to leave them as low income housing for five years. And so you have to rent them at the, whatever the low income housing threshold is. So that's that program just launched like two weeks ago. Um, and I'm actually meeting with somebody and a few other downtown business owners to talk about how do we take some of the, the empty spaces that could be apartments, but for one reason or another are stuck in this limbo of can't be apartments. Mm -hmm. and generate housing out of exactly. those so there's there's definitely some entities so thirty thousand dollars yeah that's the it's done county by county so i think it's the windsor housing trust i think well if you is find the it later it, but if you forward it to me i'm just it's, curious when, yeah it's when. a grant application process so you have to apply and get approved um but it's up to thirty thousand per unit and then the really the the biggest thing is the agreement for keeping it as low income housing for up to five years. Yeah. Cause I know one of the things five. that <clears throat> we've talked about is not just low income, but is actually just is coin the phrase where someone use worker housing, you know, just so that's the, that'll be interesting. Right. To, um, but I think even just like you were mentioning a few here, but there's yeah. a lot along this stretch that are currently empty that could be housing. And I think they're just sort of hung up in different phases of whether it's legal or insurance or codes or different, Right. things and I think the state is trying to aggressively identify what the issues are and, and someone might be just them. a lack of education of what yeah. could you do and that do with your yeah. property right like, right sure and I think as we get yeah. that information putting it out is going to be valuable because I do think it'd be kind of neat if you know with the house you know if there was I don't know like a someone from the state or someone from two rivers or yeah. an identifying organization like that that maybe could come let's say have a night here at the town hall where you can invite owners, yeah. you know, in town to come in and hear about opportunities or ideas of what they yeah. could do with their structure. Yeah, right. um, or yeah. 
mix that with the planning or this yeah. is what we could do more if we you I think know. as the details get flushed out because I mean there's even houses on Church Street that are mm -hmm. large homes that just maybe one person sure. lives in that mm -hmm. you know but I think it's hard because if they don't have the money themselves so knowing that there's grant opportunities right. and, Absolutely. and that's why I was trying to find out about any developers and I, and I never I think a lot of it just comes to this lack of education of what you possibly can well, do with your structure we, it's right? so hard to keep up with all the state yeah. you know legislation and the grants and all that um, so and the, yeah the reason I ask about tiny houses is some communities are doing install in but arranging for tiny house you know, seven or eight units on what was formerly a lot. Yeah, right. And uh, someone could come to the town to, to zone it with that. Uh, and, and that's incredibly affordable housing for a small family. The hard part for us right now is there's really no, I mean, there's not a lot of open land. Big lot. In yeah. that's, uh, but that's, that's something that... Mm we might consider outside of the, the village districts sure. where we've got now got a five or 10 acre, if, if that could be partitioned down to less than. Yeah, that's why we're, that's why the, currently what we're working on. I mean, I know right now that the planning commission is in favor of cutting all the zones in half. Um, and so, but with, you know, there's also other options. There's still a, a planned unit development, which yes, puts some of the cost on the owner to develop, you know, septic and water and things like that. But when they go to sell those lots, they're gonna make back their money. Right. Um, right. But yeah, that's certainly all what we're talking about. And, and so uh, it's interesting to hear, but some really neat ideas. And I think, um, so it'll be interesting to see what all comes out down the road, but thank you for that, Lindley. It'd be yeah. good to- Yeah, I'll forward you the- Yeah, that'd be great, <laughs> thank you. Um, what was your second question? And then question two was in regards to the um, constable. Um, and I know we spent some time on <coughs> how does it get worded correctly. And, yeah, well, uh, it, and yeah. I, here, look at survey. And it, you know, for the most part, it looks like the yeses and noes were pretty close together. Um, and then when you kind of go through the individual, if you looked at the individual comments through here, um, the ones that do provide comments, I think in a lot of times, like we talked about, like yeah. trying to find the right wording, what, what we're actually were asking, you yes. know, I think some of the yeses may not be completely on board with what we were thinking, and I think some of the no's were the same thing. I think there was like, you know, some misinterpretation there, but I think it's clearly, I think there's, um, you know, clearly it looks like an item for us to investigate and look mm -hmm. into further um, and collect more data or more uh, comments. And, um, you know, I think there was definitely, um, you know, it didn't go one way or the other in, in an extreme. It was pretty much down the middle. So. Yeah, I think, too, some of them are interesting. You know, some of them are, why not the Windsor County Sheriff? You know, that was right. like a $40,000 a year. Yeah. And, or and or we have Vermont State Police. Why do we need same anything? Thing. You know, so and that's still, if we wanted to contract yeah. with them, it's still, and, and like everybody else, you know, the police agencies are busy. So, yeah, this sure. was kind of the weird thing about Survey Monkey was we were trying to allow some comments, mm -hmm. and it's, no, I think it's good data to have, and I think it. I think this is definitely one of them that we want to put on our list of, you know, it's probably one that we'll talk about at multiple sessions, I, I feel. Um, I, I, I do think that um, a number of the, a number of the Windsor County Sheriff things were no votes. And if people understood that we're not talking about police, but we're talking about a constable, right? Um, mm -hmm. That that's. Um, I mean, that I think we may have. You know, some people so may I, have. Oh, felt because we I, did say retaining a part-time constable. 
and expanding the constables. Out and and you, you'd said what the details or the duties were. I think we, we did as much as we could. could be, in that, in yeah, that I don't know how you could be more clear. But yeah. I mean, we had some people that said no, they wanted to see two part time constables, you know, like, which so is there what was we one, already had. So there was like one person. Yeah, yeah, so there was like, you know, some of those where you're like, yeah. oh, that's, you know. Yeah. But what are we getting out of that right now? And I think, you know, right? Like, that's but, hard. But some of the no comments were pretty well thought out. I'm oh, sure. absolutely. There yeah. were yeah. some in there that really, uh, yeah, I they, think there so. were more good no comments. How yeah. can I put this? More <laughs> right. good no comments. More than, well explained. More well explained yeah, no yeah, comments than yes comments. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, I think it's an ongoing battle, you know, in the sense that you do, you, you have people who you know, don't want it, and then the people that do, but people, when they're in a situation, they want the coverage, and unfortunately, it's really not about Justin and Oscar. They're busy have with their full-time obligations, which is taking them away from here because their organizations have a staffing shortage. So it's... it's so we're not getting <clears throat> our, no, our due right now. No. So we're, right no, now, no. we're not being served. No, not really. No, and, that, and that's kind of what, you know... And they're trying, In a way, inspired our discussion at budget time was, you know, how, how, well, not just how can we do more, but how can we just at least do what we say well, we're doing now, yeah, right? It's, I mean, it's difficult to justify yeah. the expense when you're really not getting the coverage. Or you don't see the person very often or, yeah. you know, so. I think the first piece would be finding out, Therese, and, and we yeah. could put this on for um, an agenda item to talk about the next meeting. It's maybe first is find out what what kind of coverage are we going to be looking at for this foreseeable future? I'm not even sure they know right now. That, I mean, until last time it was, last time it was, you know, Justin couldn't do anything because of um, he was on mandatory overtime with the sheriff's department. And I think so, he still is. Where before, what he'd do is take his regular time, the sheriff's, and then any, I guess you would call it potential overtime, is he would come to Bethel and spend that time. Mm -hmm. But now that he's on mandatory, and maybe they are still like that. I, I don't think know. So. Last, last and then Oscar know. was full time, and yeah, and um, and I thought Royalton we plus Royalton got some money for doing, you know, the governor's safety and stuff on the interstate patrols and stuff through there. And I think they're still short because yeah. they had a guy that left. That's the hard part. Is people just like every no you know it seems like a lot of people do not want to be police officers and right now and it's hard to find people i mean there's towns with with large gaps in um policing because they just nobody can do the hires well it's like like we talked about for years you know we the constable piece work well i mean you know, at one point, you know, Mark was the constable for three towns at the yeah, same time. Exactly. So you were able to share, you know, pieces with each town and make that work in a hybrid model, right? Like, where now we maybe don't have that opportunity as much to do that. Or maybe we do. Maybe maybe that's an option. You know, we reach back out and see if we all can share a constable. I don't know. Because someone but, got um, rid of theirs. Yeah, there's a Granville or Hancock, one Granville of the two. Yeah. 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 To, uh, yeah. I think I think what we yeah, you know, I think the first thing would be to do is put on the agenda item we should come up with, you know, just the first thing is just throw the sticky notes on the board and say, what are our options, right? Like just mm -hmm. list them all and then we can start, you know, is this viable for our community, you know, get input on these different pieces, right? I mean mm -hmm. um, I'm sure there's probably a couple dozen ways to do it, right? Yeah. Um, so I, I, if the board is good with that, I think it's a good one for us to, um, yeah. to put on the next agenda and probably will be an ongoing agenda item. Right. Because mm -hmm. um, um, it was Rochester, Bethel, Hancock. Hancock, yeah. 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 And then um, question three, which was the cannabis retail um, uh, piece. Um, so that... So it looked like that was, you know, from my take on it, was mostly an overwhelming large majority of people that wanted to see us bring that to a vote. That's so good. that's good. That means I mean, it goes on the warrant. Then you can so, put the warrant. Uh, you know, the warrant we don't, again, don't have to make a decision on that, but it yeah. seems like something at, you know, uh, October time frame that we should, mm -hmm. yep. you know, be thinking yep. about for the warning. Mm. Um, and then the. <coughs> You know, the two-part question, which the first part was, you know, floor vote versus Australian ballot, 
And then the second part was if you did Australian ballot, you know, uh, the election of the uh, officers versus the budget portion of it split. And it, I would say pretty much was down the middle on both of them. Well, I think you know, it's, it's difficult reason. because, you know, 154 people answered the first question. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 101 then, answered the part second, two. I think right. no matter yeah. what, because Lenny and a helped lot us with that it. wording, and we yeah. really worked yeah. on that wording, and I still think it's, it doesn't matter anyways, mm. it's gonna, it, it legally has to come to town meeting when you have to vote on it in person at town meeting. So it will be certainly talked about there, but um, it, it, yeah, it's still, we tried. We tried to get the questions very, felt like we defined it, we talked about Australia ballots, you know, we, we did that, but, um, <clears throat> so I still think it's, I think But we didn't that, get any overwhelming No, because I think, data, I still, I, I, don't, I, still I, don't think how you, I don't know how you no. decide what overwhelming is. Well, I mean, if, I don't know, I'll make it up, like if, well, in any election, if 90% said they wanted Australian ballot, then I guess. But in any election, if you had a 14 point sure. spread, oh, yeah. you would say that's an overwhelming yeah. victory. Yeah. So I, I think that the, the problem, or that, that maybe, or something that we couldn't articulate in this survey is I wonder if people really understand that if the, everything went Australian ballot, that town meeting is done. That there is no town meeting after that, I, and I'm not. You know, that was just our. How would you say that? You know, we were trying to word these questions mm. in this specific. We were trying to give them information, and mm. but it's. So I, I just <clears throat> wonder. Um, but I think, and I, I think we did the best we could. Mm. I think what we talked about, you know, had we had been able to do town meeting from the floor this year, that that there would have been some discussion on the question before the vote, right? So there would have been a brief summary of what this, what this question would mean to the voters, which hopefully would get, answer some of those questions that, you know, this means that, you know, yeah. other than being symbolic, there would be no business done mm -hmm. on town right. meeting day, right? Um, not to say you couldn't have a town meeting, yeah. but it well, would, wouldn't uh, be the same. It yeah. wouldn't be, wouldn't be Randolph. business. No. Randolph, so. all the voting is done in Australia. Right, exactly. But they still have their town meeting. Mm. It's just um, not the same as what they're used to. You know what I mean? Well, well it certainly is for Randolph. But I mean, if you went from like Bethel being a, what I, I point as a hoot and holler to a vote, it's, it's just different. And that's all. I yeah. guess my wording isn't, it wouldn't completely go away. It would just be um, completely different. So. Yes, it would I'm be. I'm sorry, I should have said that. Anyway, I just. But it, it definitely sounds like, you know, a, an item that will be talking about again at um, Absolutely. Uh, warning time of, you know, how do we put it on the warning and try to make it as easy, yeah. easier <laughs> to vote on as possible, you know, without confusion, you know, because obviously you'd have to have something like, you know, if, if you went Australian ballot, what would your piece be? Or you know. Well, the good news is it'd be a discussion because right. we'd be at town meetings, so right. we'd be able to hear everybody's thoughts on what would be what what's good you know you, pros and cons and really you be able would to be talk able to it. hear the thoughts of mm -hmm. the people yep. who attended the meeting you right. would not be right. able to hear the thoughts of everybody right that's true but, but this is where we're legally, i think that's important yeah it's true and but for us we can't help it i mean it's I, i'm not meet, i know. know that i'm just no saying. i know but you're right i mean i get what you're saying but we if would, they don't mm -hmm. come if they can't right. come or don't right. come or right. you're right we but we would also those. have the ability, you know, the opportunity, everybody would have the opportunity to take advantage of the hybrid model of coming in person while we're talking about the question, mm -hmm. or, you know, like we do when we're reviewing the budget and the warnings, there'd be several opportunities for everybody mm -hmm. to come. have that opportunity to either Skype in from home, come in person, and attend in person. So there'd be, you know, three opportunities for everybody. Mm -hmm. Um, reach out to a select board member. You know, there's a way we'll have yeah. to try to do some more outreach, maybe, you know, from Porch yeah. Forum Post, right. Facebook, yep. to try to yep. get people to reach out so if they're not, can at least get some feedback from them. So, I mean, it, the hard part is actually.
actually, is so we can know what they're thinking, but if they're not there to vote, we it's still, you know what I mean? Because I do know what yeah, you mean. Yeah, that's mm. but And I know how that is, like, yeah. I, so, I mean, here's a perfect yeah. example of, like, you know, I had, like, counted it right to the people that I knew. I had 59 people I knew 100% were going to vote for me for school, right? And then, then I got, like, 27, 29 votes, right? And I started asking, like, did you, oh, well, we're not, we didn't even vote. We just figured you were going to get it anyway. You know what I mean? So it's like, <laughs> you know, so there's a lot of people that just, they, you know, you there may be there they had the opportunity to help you didn't you know they assumed something over the other and just you know yeah you know we just assumed that the budget was going to pass and you were going to get in so we didn't vote anyways yeah. you know and then that didn't end up being the case you know so right that's, that's know, true it's kind of interesting but. yeah some people unfortunately vote don't vote because they don't think their voice is going to count or you know mm -hmm. it's that's yeah. sad or so. all the people that i tried to get there to overthrow uh, Lindley, but only one showed up, so. Listen, you got that one vote. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. Next time. Well, That's right. Yeah, I, I, but yes, I do think it's an issue. Yeah, 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 yeah it there's definitely be. Absolutely. It sounds like that one, and, you know, both the marijuana one and the, yeah. the um, Australian versus floor will be um, discussed again here. Yeah. And then the, the sixth question there was in regards to the Better Connections grant. And you know what would this one becomes a little more cumbersome because yeah. it's like you know what would you like to do with the yeah. the monies and and then you you know tried our best to put it into a category of you know is it a pedestrians and walkway or is it something to do with parking or trails or um, yeah. you know, this the, was... the other category <laughs> Yeah. you know, tied sidewalks and pedestrians, so you'd have to dive into the other category to figure out yeah. what yeah. were all those the others. Other ones. She yep. put this little um, chart together for us, and no, that's great. Uh, Kelly did this other chart, but we did share this, uh, mm. Kelly already gave this to Rebecca Sanborn Stone as part of the Better Connections, and um, you know, some of them were, you know, reduced water sewer freeze, which we hear about, and um, certainly a better cell and wi-fi coverage you know we've actually with now there's at&t and verizon up on the up on the um tower at the town garage so i think that's helped a little bit but um you know moving the shooting range out of town <laughs> so i think everyone who lives on bicentennial would love that idea <laughs> probably someone went from bicentennial the past few days, there's been somebody over there Have they? really lighting the place up. Oh, I'm hearing them. I usually yeah, can hear it from my house, and I haven't heard anything, but I wasn't around this weekend. Over the weekend, and, yeah. and today I, I heard it again hear today. Mm -hmm. First yeah. nice days, Sounds probably. like gunshots. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. So there's there's information for that question six, but I, don't, I think you really have to do a little diving. But that's, yeah. that's what the Better Connections is about. Right? Yeah, I think you have yeah. to just do a little diving to see where where all of those pieces come together. Um, so we gave it to Rebecca, so she'll have it, yeah. because obviously she's trying to gather data, and mm -hmm. so, um, oh, so it, was, it was good, it was interesting. I thought it was helpful, I mean, I think it was worth doing. It might be something to consider doing again next year. I, I think it's always, yeah. I mean, anytime, anytime, anytime that we can airport. pull some of the potential um, goals or things you know facing. conversations that we've been having and different things to get any type of buy-in you know in some of these we like the marijuana one for instance yeah. like i probably would have thought that it would have been 50 50 or maybe a little more no's than yeses but then it was most you know a majority of yeses now, yeah now did that mean just the yeses came and did that when the no's or, didn't go to vote or what? Or but, yeah, they just want to vote so they can vote. Would nothing. you like well, those to are vote? Information yeah. Yeah. That we probably all of us here true. didn't That's see. That's a good right? point. Gene just made a good point. He's right. Or is it that people just want to vote? I mean, he's oh, right. Oh, just want to vote on it to say they don't want to vote. They want to have a say. Yeah. 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 He's you know, whether they're for it or against it. Yeah. Right. But you're right. And that's that's an excellent point. Yeah, it's hard to know. Hard to know. But I don't know. I think it is good to hear from people and give yeah. people mm -hmm. the opportunity to put in the comments. And sure. Yeah. So any anything else in regards to the town meeting survey? I mean, it looks like um, um, just one, just one comment on the the town meeting Australian thing. We might want to have a 
an open forum hearing about that just to just to just you know somewhere after the first year before you finalize the before warning? we before we finalized the warning so sometime in October or something or no well, what it whenever but yeah, I, probably I, I'm closer yeah. to the town meeting oh, than after than after the than yeah, after before town meeting because the warning has to be so, uh, so that we hmm. and and really publicize it in front page forum and newspapers and so on and so forth that we're going to have this conversation so that people th those who will attend the meeting and those mm -hmm. who will not can have a Tell chance to, to okay, yeah. provide yeah. some direct <coughs> feedback yep. and we no, can I be agree. sure everybody understands what we're talking about right before mm -hmm. um warning it's just a before town meeting just an idea. Is drafted. All right, there. Put it in the minutes. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. And then we had talked about, you know, our ongoing um, uh, health officer um, functions of the town and you know, looking at this on, you know, is the compensation factor, you know, accurate compared to other communities? And, you know, we talked about this position as well as other ones, or we have increased other ones. So, um, you know, if we, well, we are looking for somebody. So how do we more attract somebody or, or it's worth their time um, to um, volunteer? We may okay. have another, we may have an interested party at the next select board meeting that's interested in being the health officer, but we'll uh, see when we get to that. Do we have any idea how many hours in a year? Or mm. I don't. And well, I've, I, done, I've I done it the last two weeks, and at least right now I've spent, I don't know, maybe a half a dozen phone calls and, I don't know, maybe an hour today on this animal bite thing, you know, so. What about you, Paul? But it comes in spurts. I'm not officially official. Oh, I didn't know if you did any <laughs> research yet or anything. Oh, research, yeah. Did you spend yeah. a few hours? Yeah, I've, yeah. yeah, I've been doing the reading. And the, and I don't know, I haven't stuff, heard. I sent an email to, to Neil. About <clears> about so I guess in my two weeks that I've been doing it, if I was going to like bill for my hours, it would probably be like two hours, you know, I think all I've used but yeah. but again it could be like two hours one week and you could be like, yeah, be or for two weeks and it could be less. 10 hours the next time if you you know it could be nothing for a month and in one of the cases I, you know, I've had like a half dozen phone calls with this one individual haven't actually gone to do the site visit now what the site visit does happen it's a pretty extensive checklist that will probably because I've done one before it took me about two hours to do it mm -hmm. and then there's a lot of write-up behind the scenes so it's probably a three or four hour type adventure on that <laughs> hopefully paul's on board by then <laughs> well, <laughs> but you know uh, but, but yeah yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, that'll be the good thing about this time frame or the next health well, officer is we will that's one thing we're gonna get is to figure out exactly how many more hours and what what is it entailing so we know better for the future because hmm. and we don't see too many of those types of Cases like you're working on uh, over on the in the uh, mobile home. Well, parks. what you get a lot of is the um, most of them are normally <coughs> tenant versus landowner right. um, disputes in regards to something like right. heat or functioning something in their house that maybe not be working or. Um, but each one of those, you have to do that check. List, you have to do the inspection, um, which takes some time. You have to you know, do there the are a couple, inspection, which is a couple hours. Yeah, at least phone calls and then the site visit yeah. and then follow up paperwork. At least so. as much time to report it. Yeah. yeah, and and you know, again, it could be. I don't know. They're so sporadic, and we just I don't know. I, I still don't know. Other than two weeks, I've done about a half dozen phone calls and one animal bite report, which took me like an hour today to do. That was it. Oh, now I just jinxed myself. I'll probably be on. Yeah, so. <laughs> can't handle it. An hour's good. Like, um, but I, I. But looking at the information that um, 
that Kelly put together, you know, and I, I know I had just kind of, without looking at any of the towns and just kind of figuring on what I thought the hours would be, you know, I had thrown out, I think $2,400 was the number I had kind of thrown out last time. Um, but it looks like, you know, you know, the high, if you look at the communities that are somewhat similar in size, you know, the high was 6,000 and the low was, well, other than ourselves. I, the, I apologize, I thought it said 600. The low was $1,500. So let's say you take the, you know, let's say you take the high one out, you know, you're, you're in that um, 3,700 to, you know, 1,700 area, you know, I guess. I would suggest, and this is not a motion yet, $25 an hour and that we would then, from now until we put together a budget for 20, the next fiscal year, would give us some indication of how much that would be. So you're saying pay someone 25 an hour now. Okay, well, I just want to be clear about this, people. Because you know it's, you're going to be grilling me later when the budget comes over. Budget. No, so we have $600, no, no, no. $600 dollars in dollars in budget, and I don't have any place to take the money. So we'll have to figure out where we're going to cut from. I just want to say, uh, when, well, when a tree so, gets so in I was, trouble later. <laughs> I was looking at it a little bit differently from Jean, but similar numbers of 25 an hour, but averaging and saying, let's say it takes eight hours a month. That might be a little more, that might be a little less, but somewhere in there. Um, it actually works out to 24, and I was just picking that based on what you were saying, but it actually worked out to 2,400 for the year. I mean, quick math, just based on what you were saying at 25, I was just mm -hmm. saying, let's say you have to do one of those residential full visits every two weeks. So say every two weeks you do one, so that's like four or five hours of billable service. Over the course of 28 periods, that would be like $3,500. If, if that was consistent. I don't think it's probably that mm -hmm. consistent. So it'd probably be less than $3,500, you know? Um, I don't know. The only like challenge you have, for me at least, <laughs> on my end of things is, as a board, we have a harder, well, and trees, we have a harder time of managing whoever the health officer is in regards to what their billable hours would be, right? I guess it's, almost on an honesty system, right? Sure. Yeah. Um, I mean, if I was doing it, I would probably downplay my hours than what they really were, you know, type deal, where someone could, mm -hmm. you know, you could string it along a little bit if you wanted to, where I guess a flat rate, you're, you're on salary, and right. probably you're, that person's gonna be more efficient, and, you know, I don't know, so kind of my thoughts on that. So the current budget, $600, has been paid to Neil I don't already? know, I don't think so. Just to, I don't think. I, I don't think know. It I have to look at the end. And there's, and there's 600 in the next budget yeah. cycle yeah, right so. now. Yeah. So 600 at 25 an hour is 40 what? 40 40 hours. 40 hours? Uh, yeah. No, it hasn't 24 been, hours. It hasn't been paid right. out yet. 24 it's, hours. It's clear to me that we're out of sync. Yeah, it yeah. hasn't been yeah. paid Oh, yet. it's definitely, and, you know, and $600. I, I'm, I'm trying change. to yeah. find a reasonable way to yeah. to give us some information, at least for next the next budget cycle, mm -hmm. recognizing that we're we're going to, whatever yeah. we do, yeah. we, we're going we're gonna to blow that part of the budget. So... Well, the interesting part is too is what if you do if you do an hourly rate, I guess in a way, then you could pay if the deputy health officer works, the deputy health officer gets paid that hourly rate, mm -hmm. or if it's however you divvy up the duties, unless we're just going to split this in half and say the deputy health officer gets half and the no, I other, think you know what I mean. I, I don't know how to do separate. it. Yeah, it's, I'm not sure as how because to do the regular it. officer will be handling the bulk. I would assume handling yeah. the bulk of the response times and stuff. So maybe if it's an hourly rate, it's fair. Well, because I think it then... gives you, it gives you That's a good point. 24 hours in the next budget cycle at 25 an hour. So you could say not to exceed that amount for the next budget cycle. You mean the one that starts in July? Yes. Yeah. 
not well i mean it's okay if we overspend the budget i mean we're gonna save money somewhere else i'm okay yeah. i just want to be but sure that everybody no, we knows have no that's idea how many hours we're talking about that right exactly in a year right whereas the stipend i get well, i know it's a tough not to cry we have we have potentially two pe we have two people right now who i think we can trust oh, sure. <laughs> to be to be realistic mm -hmm. about what they provide for an hourly their hours put in and i mean realistic chris <laughs> hey I, I, again, unlimited uh, comp time right how, now. however <laughs> you know I'm but, it. and you're as, using it to play the health officer role. as <laughs> yeah uh, as, win -win as part us. of a, as part of a a way well, i just again if we were to go with an hourly rate at present we would have but when we start building a budget for the <laughs> the yeah. next budget exactly, yeah. we would have had what eight months a better of experience idea of what we're building it on Right. I get that. No, I'm, I'm okay with overspending. I just want it right. in the minutes oh, that no, we're no, agreeing no. to overspend the budget. I, so <laughs> that's fine. And I, I'm I'm trying to see if how we can figure out what it might be. Yeah, I, I think that's you're right. I mean, because when I go back and build budgets, I'm looking at two or three years, mm -hmm. and I need data to do that. And you're right, a stipend doesn't really give us the data, but an hourly that's rate right. does. Um, I will say the person who um, is in, may, be, may be interested in being health officer is not interested in being paid. He wants the deputies to be paid, but he doesn't. So, you know, could be a... Not well, a and, that, and that's one thing that we have to, would have to control too is, I know the health officer can deputize, you know, the world, but... You know, the, the, the idea no, behind no, the system. He has no. to file paperwork with the state. <laughs> and the <laughs> slack board has to. The idea slack behind board, yeah. the health officer is the health officer is in charge of this. Yeah. The right. deputies, if needed, are, you know, kind of one-offs to help out with something. Sure. Or if I'm mm -hmm. not able to, if I'm out of country or in the hospital or, you know, yeah. to help. So I, I think we just would, wouldn't want to see, like, the health officer's putting hours on it, the deputy's putting hours on it, you know, and we're like double dipping hours on stuff, you know. Yeah. I mean, it kind of would have to be some sort of and Even fine. if we found someone who was willing to donate their time, I would request a time... Time sheet? Of, a time sheet, a report. Something. Kind of know what yeah, like a monthly or quarterly report or something, but... So, I mean, I think the hourly rate is a good idea, I guess, and now that you say that, Gina, it makes sense about no, being... It does, and Paul, yeah, yeah it makes yeah. sense, and then we can yeah. quantify what we're dealing with. And in the meantime, I mean, Paul's going to be, I think he's a three-year appointment, and <clears throat> whoever takes on next, you're going to make that decision before you appoint them, whether if you don't think they're trustworthy, they're not going to be, not going to appoint them as health officer anyways. So, um, but you, yeah, it could be, I mean, it's kind of the only way to figure out exactly well, the only other how much, unless you the only other have them file a monthly report. The only other town position, well, they're voted is listers, and listers are on hourly. Mm -hmm. They put a time and, card in. You know, without going and looking at all of them, I would say that they are somewhere around twenty dollars an hour. Does that sound about right? Probably I, somewhere around there. Yeah. If I had to, no? maybe not. I thought there were seventeen. Yeah, I was gonna say no. lower because. Are you sure? One is. One no, is. One is. There. I'd have to look up. There. I don't have access to my pay attention. That's right. Because <clears> one <throat> is, they're actually three are paid at different rates. Well, of course, Louise has been there for well, a long time. Well, there was some different levels, right? Yes, that's right. And uh -huh. so, mm -hmm. you're right. One of them is not. I think one may be around 17. One's more. Maybe less. So, but. Well, I'm, I'm just, just thinking devil's advocate here if we give, you know. Oh, this position 25 is that fair to the listers at uh, 1718 you know I, mean, I, I don't well, know well there I, we have some other employees that are making the 25 dollar kind of sure. range too Absolutely. for that aren't necessarily full time employees of the town yeah yeah, yeah. so don't you I mean, seasonal yeah no i agree yeah. cuz there's no benefits to either there's no benefits to the position the, the specialized right. background and, yeah right. Well, and it's it's 
there's a lot of decision making capacity that goes with that role. So it certainly is nothing. Nobody want to pay minimum. So I guess wage. the first piece is, what does the board think about compensation on an hourly versus salary or hourly hourly versus <laughs> stipend? Stipend. Do do we feel favorable on an hourly rate or do we feel more like on a stipend? I, I feel fine with hourly. <laughs> I think if so, Lindley's good with hourly. Obviously, Gene's good with hourly. Yeah, I'm good with hourly. Yeah. What about you, Dave? Yeah, I guess um, it's it. Yeah, because it's only, it's the only fair thing. Because if there were nobody, we save money. But if they had ten hours a week for the whole year, yeah, something would be. You would blow your budget big time. Yeah. And then and then you know if we did this and maybe we just do it for now, like until we get to. Budget yeah, time, and then maybe at budget yeah, time we we'll decide happens on something, something else. else. Mm -hmm. So in the meantime, so if we seems like consensus is hourly, and then based on that, what it, Gene has talked about a twenty-five dollar an hour rate. What does the board feel about the compensation hourly? Feel free to jump in. As twenty. Well as I'm, I'm thinking twenty because to go from six hundred dollars to twenty-five dollars an hour. I understand these other numbers are a lot larger, but <clears throat> also the if if I read the requirements correctly, twenty five dollars isn't enough if you can do all of it, and we're not going to have that person. If you have to be qualified in all those all those things that they, that a health operator is supposed to be able to do, you're talking a forty five dollar an hour man. And I guess some things that I did leave out too is, you know, obviously when you come on board, there's not just training, but a lot of reading to do. I mean, yeah. there's probably, you know, several hours of that um, that I didn't talk about. But yeah. on the other side, does, as you said, there's no, yeah, excuse me, <clears throat> there are no, uh, no benefits. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's, that's up, upwards of 30%. Right, yeah, so people there, there's no benefits that people are getting. And, um, I mean, that we take out FICA and Medi, that's it. Obviously, a, So if you, if you were at 20 and 30% is normally benefits, then, you know, you've talked, you're back at like 25. Right. Right. Yeah, I mean, I feel okay about 25. I feel like given, given where things are going with wages currently, but also what this position entails and the type of person we'd be looking for, I feel like it's worth compensating somebody for doing a, a yeah. hard job. And it's not an easy job. I mean, you're right. dealing with people in, in times and situations when they're not, you know, at their best and it's difficult and it's... Well, and having to follow up in timely <clears throat> manners, I feel like there's some incentive to actually getting paid for your time if, if time is of the essence. And in certain cases, and we've heard one of them is this board, you know, the time is important in this and you don't want to put it off because you're prioritizing your paying work over the volunteer piece. Paul? I, you know, I know what my time is worth. No, and I, um, if I'm taking time out of my work schedule to deal with things, I mean, you know, my time is worth something. Absolutely. And I think that's a fair rate. So we might try, try the $25 an hour and you know, collect see how it collect goes. data between now and October, and I mean, what I can do. Hopefully, it's not much longer. But I, can, if you want to give me a couple of the um, hourly sheets, I'll yeah. just fill them out so you can see what kind of time is involved. Okay. But I mean, I uh, hoping that won't be much longer. <laughs> so, but um, I can document some hours right now. Just so that you have I, I hear there's a big log jam of them up earlier in the health department. That's right. They're like six months behind on their paperwork. That's right. You could be on that website forever. <laughs> Don't yeah, worry, Paul. Cool. You're never getting off that website now. That's right. That's right. It yeah. says three well, years, but they'll have yeah. you forever. So we'll need a motion for that because uh, the auditors will be looking for that. So to pay the, <coughs> you're going to pay the health officer, deputy health officer, you're paying them both that rate. <clears throat> so we, should we put something in the air? Well, h how long would this till deem otherwise? Or well, it's way it is, always is. I mean, until you change <laughs> yeah. it. So. 
So moved. Twenty-five dollars. Is that is that for the health officer and deputy? Yes. So whoever. Okay. Okay. So moved and Second. seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. And the um, American Rescue Plan money discussion. I might be able to pay for the health oh, officer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Am I recalling that you said there were more comments? Oh, I didn't write them down. I just, yeah, oh, okay. it's been about the roads, so I just, I okay. didn't write in hand. I, know. So I just wanted to let you know that. So I'm meeting with Rita tomorrow at 845 to walk the sidewalk from in front of um, John Janice Giffords down to the school to look at the sidewalk project to see what that'll be to write that grant, because <clears throat> obviously you guys had agreed that we wanted to file for it, or write it. Plus the street it. sidewalk? Yeah, and then so we'll you want me to get you the, some prices on that? Well, I mean, no, I'm gonna walk it with Rita tomorrow, I'll tell you, I'll send you some measurements. I figured you'd wanna know some numbers. It'd be easier for you. <laughs> We're gonna go measure it and look at some stuff, so. You got a wheel, right? Yep. Yeah. And um, so anyways, uh, so yeah, it was. so we just got a couple more Comments about you know we also have rescue the, plan money saying the section that, of sidewalk there out by the library that's in really rough shape from we'll call it from like the telecom building oh yeah down to the wall pick a piece yeah it's all in rough shape <laughs> and speaking but, of the wall have you seen that thing? it's all on the road right now There's I know <clears> lots <throat> of concrete pieces in the road yeah, yeah. I know I, you know what I was saying I might be seen. another. Something. Call to the yeah. district to say, hey, have you I'll seen that well lately and what that's looking like? Well, you know what I wondered? Well, so let me just finish the American Rescue. So that, so the side, the only reason that we're looking at this specific sidewalk is to write that specific grant. So we haven't looked okay. at anything else yet. But this will all come out with a better connections project. Mm -hmm. And one thing we get through that, it opens us up for more money. So my thought about the wall was, you know, you have the things where you do the pool now, gun light, gun yeah, light, gun light. Gun light. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, I'm no. thinking, why can't they just come up? And I know I talked to someone about it, and they can actually form it. So you could take the fish down, spray gun light, and then hang the fish back up. But you could also form it so the big chunks that have come out where there's gaps in it. I'm thinking, why wouldn't the state do yeah. that? Because <clears throat> it well, won't. Well, they want to look because it's probably something causing that stuff to come out. Well, of they're going to be a big can of worms. They well, keep telling, a... saying that it's structurally <laughs> <Right>? sound. I <laughs> no. did receive a call from a lady. Uh, behind uh, Linda Sampson and she had some rebar in her in the ground and so she reached out because the person she had come look at the stone wall and so he's like <clears throat> I don't think you should touch that he's mm -hmm. like so I emailed uh, Chris at the state and said hey I don't know who's in charge of the wall but he, this you know lady I see see her on the email and I said she's got information she has a situation going on and somebody might want to look at it but I mean, it's still over a million dollar project for the mm -hmm. state, and they keep telling us it's structurally sound. But my thinking is, just spray it with something, make it look nicer, paint it. I don't care. But well, we had, big chunks uh, are coming out. We had talked about that a couple of years ago, before the fish, which was yeah, not so much structurally take it down. It was can you, can you do something with it? Can you do something on the yeah. surface to make it look better? And, and it, I had didn't talked seem interested in doing anything. I talked to Chris Bump about it a while ago, and um, the last year, I guess. But again, he was supposed to send someone out to look at The only reason why it. I mention that is because the state Thompson. of Vermont has a buku amount of transportation dollars right now yeah. that they are having a hard time getting projects to the street. So they oh. have all this money and, I'll tell them you know, that. so maybe there's an opportunity to, I hey, will. if you want to spend some money, there's a yeah. wall that could be well, We talk, I talk to the poor <laughs> guy about it every year, several times a year. And they, and they, and I think before it was the state had, the state owns one, one of the properties right above, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, the it's one right back. Yeah, they're gonna tear it down yeah. because they had to empty it out. Yeah. We shut the water off. They're supposed to tear it down. They didn't buy the one. They like, needed both of them, of them, didn't they? No. Well, no. they saw the price tag on it. I know, but they ideally and, needed both of them. I thought. I don't mm. know what they're gonna do, but they didn't. Well, well they, no, because I you think the intention part. was to tear down that the gray house mm -hmm. yeah. so that they could work on the wall mm -hmm. so they had the lady the the agreement with the owner of, gave her time to be able to still be in there and then they all of a sudden gave her notice that you've got 
like two months to get everything out of there. Not that they had any, any date, because Linda talked with the state. Mm -hmm. There's no date in mind that they're going to tear it down, but they just wanted it empty so that when they got around to it, mm -hmm. <coughs> it would be empty. <laughs> they didn't have to so worry about So there's still it. no date, because Linda, you know, I, Linda's concerned about how they're going to get to the thing. Mm -hmm. They're going to go <laughs> right up her, right up past mm -hmm. her yeah. dooryard there with heavy equipment, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. uh, to tear it down and all that, so. No, because when it went on the market, the house before Linda bought it, I sent the, I told Chris Bump, I said, hey, you might want to tell somebody that that house is up for sale. And mm -hmm. then I think that they did, and I think that they probably saw, mm -hmm. you know, the market. And well, this, this might be but, something to revisit now that the state yeah. has some money, well, uh, an influx of money over the next four years. Uh, well, I'm mm -hmm. going to see Chris this week because we're meeting um, there's any time that on Pinello Bridge, the time. so I'll ask him about it while we're doing Pinello. Mm -hmm. Bridge. So, all right. Or if they want to dedicate some extra money to the mountain road. Yeah. <laughs> that would be time. We that's could, right. Because right? right? <laughs> we could use that. I mean, that. Mm, yep, that's true. He, yeah. I don't know what's Just give it to us. We'll figure out what to do with it. Yeah. What, the wall? <laughs> no, no, the money. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, exactly. Yes. Every town. We don't need to talk about it. Way. Just hand it on over. That's true. Well, the sad thing is we'd probably spend it more efficiently well, than, that's, than they no, would. Oh, man. Right? <laughs> Some truth in that. All right. And then we had the roof bid for the office. Somebody might have jumped it down a little bit. Yeah, I did. So um, I awarded the bid because the <laughs> one bidder was, you know, there's a difference of over $20,000 between the two bids. but. I did, you know, talk to both people, did a comparison of materials, square footage, what we were using. Um, they both were using very, you know, similar architectural shingles. They're using the same um, underlayment, the same, you know, ice water, the whole thing. So I just think one is, you know, staffing. One is a bigger operation than the other, more staff to pay, that sort of thing. So I had awarded it because it obviously made sense to do so and um, then I was thinking about it later and I was like oh that's capital money so I just need a motion on the select board to award the town hall roof placement to town office town, 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 office. Hall. town office thank you to Bob Conniff and and that's the last piece of the puzzle for the, for the building for a while no 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 we still have, um, well, once that's done, we'll insulate the attic, so that shouldn't be too huge. Right. Um, then, don't forget our underground fuel tank. The what? Underground fuel tank, yeah. The what? <laughs> that's, the what? The what? This is right next door. <laughs> sorry. Oh, Teresa's tank. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So that will be, so we the will, tanks? I have okay. a price to take that little addition off, which is you know, junk anyways, and but there's the tank is under it to remove that, so it would actually increase parking. <clears throat> because we would be able to, you know, we have to deal with that. And then Tim Mills and I had talked about, because <laughs> there's, there's a fire hydrant right there, mm -hmm. an odd spot. And then there was some other building. And, and I remember, funny, Tim asked me, well, what's in it? I said, you don't pay me enough to climb down that bank and look in that building. There's no way. So, <laughs> so somebody finally did, and it was like a, a cistern maybe of some sort in there so it could it's possible that if we could get depending on our easement with the railroad that if we tore that off we could move that hydrant and possibly increase parking a little bit right there mm -hmm. so there's that and um, you know let's face it I probably could stab a butter knife through the outside of the wall into the building at some point it'll have to be recited but I think the main part is energy efficiency and because mm -hmm. we got the basement hoed out and the basement you know done the furnace is in good shape and so we're getting the roof replaced because right now you know we've just basically created a chimney right because so we're using gas propane what are we using now? oil oil Total. number two oil yeah and um so it'll just make it more efficient you know there have i think all at some point i don't know when the windows were replaced except for two one in one of the bathrooms and one in the town clerk's office and i did talk to someone about replacing those because um, when someone was out power washing the building, Pam's window leaked in, it's on this, 
Yeah, so there's no good there. Mm -hmm. So, and we also need to create a box um, to go around the air conditioner so that, because her air conditioner is built into the wall, so there needs to be an insulated box there. And, you know, it's hard. I talked to someone about doing it, but everybody's been busy. So, um, some things like that just to hmm. improve yeah, efficiency. Could do, could take a look at that. Yeah, so yeah. just improve efficiency. And, like I said, do, where I'd like to replace those two windows. I don't know why they didn't, when they did replacement windows, why they left. Yeah. Were they talking about taking the safe out back then? We were going to have to blow that wall out. There. Well, I did. I asked, yeah, I asked um, the fire department about it because yeah. that safe is just, it, it should have gone when Jean yeah. got rid of hers. And I talked to um, Dave Altrigetti and he said, you know, we can't, you know, because I'm like, can't you just cut it? I'm like, don't you have oh, tools? The building to was do built this? around the safe. And yeah. he was like, oh, he said, be here forever. He said that they, um, he said that no, we'd probably catch the building on fire. Say, burn the <laughs> so <laughs> he said the only way you could get it out, trees. He said you'd have to where the window is right yeah. now in the zoning area. He said open that up and take it out. And I said when we reside this place, we will do that mm -hmm. because I don't know how they got those safes in there because they weren't they built went around. In, they went in first. I'm telling you. I don't know they because built I asked. Well, that porch <laughs> didn't used to be there. Yeah. So Dave Betty's probably better. Which porch? The front porch, right? It's always been there. Oh, I thought Jean told me the other day. It's not when a it, was it wasn't a porch. That's where you unload your milk, your milk oh, cans. Oh, yeah. uh, it was a loading dock. It was a yeah. loading dock. Oh, oh, so we talked about it. and um, put a railing on it. Call it a porch. So when we do resize the building, that safe is going out. Well, Dave at Aldrigetti said, you know, we could pop that window out. And he said, yeah. But I said that thing. Because it's it could be just more efficient use of the space, certainly. But um, so, anyways, we so just need a motion to award the bid. Question. Yeah. Why are we? Has there been any thought given to us standing seam rather than shingles? Yep. We have a standing seam now, and it's very expensive. Everything slides right out into the road, so we're actually going back to shingles because it's like what did Bob tell me and and Justin six hundred. Uh, she, it's, it's insanely expensive yeah. and so we have standing seam and both agreed that we should go back to shingles just for part of the way it comes off the roof well you get a slower melt there. you get yeah. a slower melt with the shingles yeah <clears throat> so that's why we're gonna go um are we sure the snow load is good yeah snow load I I'm sure they'll look into that. Well, you have to so. look at your sports underneath. Yeah. That'd be what, what is it, 40 pounds per square foot? Right. Like that, Didn't you also discover there's a, there's a second layer they just re roofed on top? They did a whole other Right, which we know. Layer. Yep, I actually yeah. asked what they were dealing so with. So, what is underneath that? It's the shingles. shingles underneath? Yep. Stand and seam right It now? is. Because I had asked them about the and both they, about And they know on that? That's. Yeah, they, I asked them both what the okay. deal was, where we were at, what was the, you know. Um, what was under, what was their thought, and I was like, why? Yeah, you know, why didn't they just strip the roof strip and re-shingle it back in the day? But he said, both, but Bob had said, and someone else had said too, well, at one point, Trees, they were standing seam, which is putting on everything. Mm -hmm. And, um... Well, maybe they strapped it and then put the standing seam on that, because you, you wouldn't want to put it right on top of shingles. No, they said that yeah, there is the shingles, strapping. and then there is. Then there's the strapped. boards, and then yeah, there's... It's going to be yep. strapped. In. Exactly. Some kind. That's exactly Some right. It's going to be a lot of prep work. Well, because they've been up in the, on. um... Both of them have been up in the attic and scoped it all out and walked around and looked yeah. at the trusses and everything else to see what we were dealing with. So, but I can ask about the... But anyway, so that's why we're going back to shingles because A and B you can't you can't afford metal. Oh, so metal is yeah, just crazy. It's crazy. So. Right now. All right. So just need a motion to excuse me. Award the town office. Award bid the town to, office bid. Well, we don't need a motion to award the town office. You see the motion to move the capital. Just a motion money to. Over. Well, yeah. I mean. Um, I motion to award the town office roof replacement to Bob Conniff money to come out of the capital improvement fund. So moved. Second. Do you all in favor? Aye. 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 We have a number in there. The there were 20,000 different from one another. That's the number that my brains were calling. What was the final bid number? 23. 20. 
23878. Are they going to be looking at the, the underside of the porch? I mean, the. Uh, yeah, the we've talked the about it. I just, I think once they get up there, we'll see what we're dealing with. It's, yeah. I. I think that's going to be a mess. I think we'll end up oh, well, having to hire a carpenter to out. deal with it because yeah. I'll all I know, and... yeah, all I know is what Gene Burnham told me, which was shortly after the metal roof was put on, the porch started leaking. She mm -hmm. went to the town manager at the time and said, "You should call the roofers back. It's leaking," and then it didn't, and so. Mm -hmm. I don't, there's a light bulb out, but I'm not putting it on because the water comes out, <laughs> well, it pours out through light fixtures. So I know let's that hole underneath is rotting. Yeah, that's but, the problem. So yeah. at least, um, so I don't know, that could be just a bag of cats once they oh, get yeah. to there. Yep. Yeah. But, yep. so, and I've told both of them that. I said, look, you know what, we know, we don't really know what we're dealing with right there. So. So the logistics of doing that project, they may want you to relocate for a week. <laughs> um, they actually, uh, Bob uh, said they'd strip it on Saturday or Sunday, uh, the okay. front half, so that we, he's like, gonna... you don't need to hear us up above you. And um, he said, so they, he said they'd come in and strip it on a Saturday, Sunday. And um, okay. so that way they were trying, he said, you don't, you know, here in our footprints all day long. And Well, they need a place to park all their equipment too. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. he, I told him he could, Obviously, they could block off the front, and he said he's going to set up all this pipe staging and this and that. And so he had his plan. Right. So he's the same gentleman who did Lang Durfee's building over the river, mm -hmm. um, the electric or the yeah. whatever you call it. Okay. okay. Town manager's report. Um, so there's going to be um, information out, better than what I'm going to say, but there's a Better Connections May Day event, um, barbecue, to be held on Sunday, May 1st, 12.30, I said noon, but I guess it's going to be like 12.30 they're going to start eating, and then it's going to go until, I asked Rebecca, so 3.30 at the Bethel School Campus, and the school's preparing the food, and it's going to be a buffet, uh, they're going to have people outside, um, you know, for the first part, while they're eating, to giving people an update about what's going on in town, different projects, and then they'll move at like one o'clock, so from <coughs> one to three thirty, inside to be in different groups, um, so for people to weigh in on different topics of the Better Connections process and some input on the Vote Rec grant and other things. I'll be manning one of the tables for um, about planning, and so different people will be doing that. So um, that will be this Sunday um, at the school. So be, they're planning a food for like 100, I think, so it'll be great. Um, Richard and I finished up our interviews today for the mowing position and we're checking, in, checking uh, references and make a decision uh, this week on that. Um, I already told you about the other stuff. I haven't had a chance to go through all the Christian Hill bids. I was working on it when I left tonight. Um, so obvious, oh, I also said here, so uh, Morgan Drury is the new road foreman for the town of Bethel, is a lifelong Bethel resident and has experience as road foreman from work in another town. Um, very excited to take on the role. I want to thank Paul and Ryan Slack for um, being on the, you know, doing the interviews with me. And so that was very helpful. So thank you very much. I appreciate mm -hmm. that. I also wanted to let you know that um, I think Kelly sent out information but on May 21st at the White Church from noon to four will be Tim Mills Memorial Service. Um, uh, Angel is in the family is having some food there, but you know, Tim liked to try what different people were, you know, people were cooking or things like that. So if you have a dish you wanna share, um, please, please bring that to the, to the White Church. Um, so that's on the 21st. Okay. Yep. Consumer confidence report will come out, um, and that goes out with the May utility bills, along with the annual reminder about what you should and should not flush <laughs> the subject system. <laughs> For, so that'll come out too. So um, I think that is it. 
Oh, the stone wall, Greg Barr is going to do the four ends of the stone wall and the stairs at the municipal parking lot. And he said it's agreed to have it done before before the end of May, and then we talked about a pricing to do the rest of the wall, and we're gonna have to budget like a side a year. I mean, it's it's not cheap and um, to get that done, but definitely some of it. I mean, walking with him around it the other day and really looking at it, mm -hmm. I mean, there's just sections yeah, of it so that are just gone. He really explained the process about what had happened and that apparently when someone, you know, they wanted more sand into the grout and so it just really hasn't held up the way it needed to and he did say that he would um when they had extra grout at the end of the day that he'd look at you know different sections and try to do a little bit here and there so uh, but that'll be nice to get that taken care of finally so he said he's gonna do that by the end of may yep that's the hope yep, yep. he was you know with mud season and everything else he had some holes in his schedule i sent him an email we'd met we confirmed and I had sent him an email, so um, hopefully um, that's hopefully that's what he said. So we'll see. I think that's about everything in there. I noticed uh, permit parking signs out of the parking lot. They're there or they're not there? They are there. Yep. That whole side is for permit. That's new. <laughs> no, it's, no, they Greg it did Greg, that when was he was Greg here thing. before I was town manager. Greg yeah. and the select board did it at that time, um, parking permits and passes for the winter, so that people weren't leaving their cars there all night, so that uh, the road crew could come in and clean the parking lot out. So if you have an apartment on Main Street or going to park there, you had to come in and pay for a parking permit, and that way we knew whose car it was and the license plate, so we didn't tow you and gave them a specific place to park so um yeah, so no that's been in place for a few years now you know, it just it suggests to me with the signs mm -hmm. that i'm not supposed to park there oh because i don't have a permit yeah i don't know if they take the signs up and down mm -hmm. they leave them no, they're up all year they do okay yeah. i couldn't remember yeah. and uh, the idea was not that you can't park there it was to give the people who tip most of the housing is that way to give them the priority spots okay. so then right. when friday night happens and the, you know the bar has a ton of parking you can still find a parking spot and you're not forced to park on the street or far from your home that was the idea behind it was not not to exclude it not to you know there's no language on there that says you cannot park here but also to intentionally try to help prioritize the folks that do live here when it's busy downtown you can still find a parking well, spot I'm just for your home. sharing how a Joe Schmo <laughs> yeah. citizen and, and reads the concept, those signs and the what concept they mean. was to have everybody up at this end so they could come down and sweep out in the winter maintenance this end maintenance. the front end of course that never works because it <laughs> used to be because <laughs> people don't you know, park. and then they call up and yell because it was pretty common that we would in. probably right, get one exactly. vehicle a uh, winter that would just, just be just abandoned here. Yeah. That yeah. would be plowed around and... Yeah. Uh, it was also, all of that was done before this apartment was brought back online. So yep. nobody was right. living, uh, other than John, but he has his own parking. No right. one was living here and using this lot. And that, yeah. that is different. As somebody who, who navigated that for years, mm -hmm. I really appreciated having a spot I'm, that wasn't I'm not taken complaining. on Friday night. I'm mm -hmm. just saying. Yeah. I'm just yep. the perspective of the user. Is that still being upheld or maintained? Do, the, you, know, do you see people coming in for a parking yep, permit? Yep, yep, yep. I, remind, I reminded Kelly this year to send letters to, you know, the, to the land owner, landowners apartment owners, building owners, whoever, to tell them to tell their tenants to come on in. Yeah. You know, um, it was a similar process in another town, and, and a lot of times the landlord would come in annually and pay for the fee and then tell his people to come in and fill them out, but he prepaid for them all, which was nice. I mean, so. were we even charging for those? $20. $20, was it? Yeah, because okay. we it's, print a little sticker. And, okay. and you guys it does say during, e during the hours, I think. Right, and right. It, so it's $20 per unit and I think you could have up to two cars per unit, but then you also got two, for that you got two visitor passes that you can you know, put, if you have a friend visiting, you can put in their car and then take back. So there were stickers that, yep. if you're a permanent resident, you put the sticker in your car, and then if you had a visitor, you had a visitor pass. So it's very reasonable for 
a year's worth of parking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. No, we did it this year. I had Kelly send out reminders to people. And they came okay. in, we had a few takers. And select board meeting minutes from the 11th. I'm not sure what I missed. Any amendments to it? Or are we good to? No, I thought it looked good. I spelled your name right. written. <laughs> yeah, but not in the email that you sent out to us. What? Well, <laughs> well, you sent out so sent close. Us an email that talked about uh, hiring yeah. positions. Yeah. And you scrubbed oh, my name. you know what? I'm going <laughs> to say auto that. Uh, the auto stupid. correct does that. It's okay. I'm no, I shouldn't have known that. I'm willing to bet you it's the auto correct. I'm surprised I did that because I know not You were obviously to. drinking that day. No, yeah, I was. I don't know. How did you know? You had a lot on your plate. I did, but, uh. <coughs> need a motion to approve as written? So approved, uh, so moved. <laughs> okay, Second. all in favor? Aye. 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 And there were a bunch of other communications in there. Energy Committee, Rec Committee, EIC were all in there. Um, joint Board, all the ways. Volunteer of the Week. Yes, Baron Griffin was Volunteer of the Week. Yep. There was also the updated um, budget in there. Yep. We had one small question. So under the um, under the town-owned equipment piece, so we're at 75% of our budget, but we only have 38% of these. Where are you? Uh, on the highway? Um, page 2 of 14. Oh, okay. So under the diesel there, we're on 75%, yet we've, we're only 38% on the diesel usage. Is that because we have like a large bill coming that we haven't paid? or Not that I'm just, aware of. We're I'll just look, under on that category yeah. altogether? Could or? be, yeah, because okay. I will. I mean, the only thing we could credit back to there is we bill the fire and the constable, but that's really little. I also will double check now that I see we're over here. Well, I'm fire. just, you know, thinking with, I mean, just Because I had, I had reached out, or I had Kelly call them the and tell them on the diesel prices to come in and yeah. fill us. So I'm not aware unless, I mean, I've paid like all their bills. like one and a half times it was last year at this time. Yeah. So I would just think, mm. I would have thought that number would have been. Yeah. Well, they had, so Alan had had them filled up, but then I did talk to Alan and said, okay. get a hold of, um, <clears throat> But I didn't know if, like, you were just them. getting ready to no. write a big check. No, or, we did you know. payables. Okay. Well, honestly, we did payables last week, so if there was, I don't remember code, well, Alan would have coded it. So, if we did, this is at the end of the month, but I don't think so. It was but one uh, the time before that. Was. Yeah. So, um, it could yeah. change. So if there's it was May, we did a payables, that would have been our second payable run. So there could be one. No, I, I just would have I expected maybe it would have been at budget or maybe even higher. Yeah. The and prices, so. if Alan coded a big bill, then I won't see it till the next round of financials. Okay. Um, but because I had had I remember Kelly seeing calls. the CV. So, well, they did because we did yeah. heating deliveries and I remember yeah. coding, all, coding a few because yeah, I, I those. did those. Yeah. But I had had them get a hold of CV oil and said, come cap us, you know, tap us mm -hmm. before we get yeah. too crazy okay. with uh, mm -hmm. pricing. You know, we get so much over rack, but still, uh, it's going to be tough. Right. Any, any other business come for the board? I know one thing I just wanted to touch base briefly on, and being that uh, I'm a new member of the school board, um, <laughs> I did. Uh, <laughs> I did um, talk about at the only meeting I've been to so far is, you know, maybe, you know, we've never really had a liaison between the town and the school before, so, you know, um, you know, neither board really talks to each other. Um, so, uh, you know, where appropriate, I'll bring things that we're working on to the school and vice versa. And, and the first thing on the meeting that we just had was the school, and, maybe, and Lindley's probably aware of it, but the school is looking for opportunities in the community to better serve um, after school programs or or um, summer programs through like um, daycare um, or other care yeah um, i've heard that so it, it it sounded like there was some opportunity there um, to either um, 
incorporate that into some of the downtown business maybe or or maybe you know thinking outside the box maybe you know expanding the recreational area you know mm -hmm. it sounds like right now is the school has an abundance of money to spend on the a program but they don't have anybody to run it or any of the pieces so you know they have the building yeah. and they have the money but they don't have anything else so um, or you know any other type of community or something like that um, so daycare right now is a has been the newest one that they have yeah. put together a, a task force to go over on, you know, um, it's a big hot topic, especially with snow days, in-service days, um, and, and right now what they're most worried about is, is summer. Um, well, doesn't the school partner with One Planet? <clears throat> um, they do, and I don't have all the information, but apparently the... Uh, apparently, the individual that has been the coordinator of that for some time has is stepping down or is retiring. So, mm -hmm. I think there's some uncertainty there. Maybe is that on, Bill. No, on, Bill left last year at the end of last year, so it'd be Carrie McDonald. So I think there's some uncertainty of where the program. Yeah, there's also there may not go right now. There's a few um, different things happening that Chris is kind of speaking to, but they're, they're sort of separate things happening simultaneously. So there's the community schools grant, which is, is where the money is coming from. Mm -hmm. So that's, there's funding to do these things, but that's at the moment, so for this fiscal year is middle school centric, next year will expand into the high school and the elementary schools, but they were starting it small in the middle school. So for this summer, it would really be middle school, but I think then there's also this other piece of the, the One Planet and the daycare issue. And One Planet has its own restrictions that you have to have been signed up. So if you just needed care for a day, for a day like, or for something, you can't just send your kid to One Planet. They have to have been registered prior to. And so that creates some gaps in how do you fill those gaps. There's no after school program that you could just say, ooh, I'm you know, running late at work, can my kids stay after school? That it doesn't work that way. So I think they're trying to sort of look at it from a lot of different perspectives, but then there's mm. different things coming in with funding and, and what criteria you have to meet. And so but I think there was, you know, an opportunity there maybe for mm -hmm. the school to partner with the town or a local <clears throat> business owner, you know, like, <clears throat> I, and I happened to just drive by one today, which I was like, ah, like, so in the town of Heartland, they have what they call the Heartland Activity Center, which I guess is kind of like a rec center, but it's, it's situated at a point where that's exactly that, that somebody can drop their child off for a period of time mm -hmm. um, that they have. And I guess, you know, so it's just something to kick around that, you know, it may be I'll a- Drop them off September 1, I'll pick them up in July. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's totally how it works. <laughs> that's right. You know, maybe- feed them three meals a day, right? <laughs> Have they ever partnered with, I know, in Addison County, the Addison County Parent Child Center mm. ran an after school program and a summer program at, you know, Bristol Elementary and, and I think in Middlebury and so, um, and they did have after school so you could do a drop in if you needed after school care, you know, mm. because a parent was working late or and then if you wanted to sign them up for the summer program and I think some of the teachers and paralegal, paralegals, paraprofessionals, excuse me, from the, um, school would sometimes just work in the summer you know yeah. at the through the program and i know that's who they partnered with was the school in the mm -hmm. addison county parent child center so i don't know well, i know they're building that big daycare in randolph on right Slack i was gonna Hill. say i know that the orange county has a parent child center but i don't know because we send them a thousand dollars in our appropriation yeah. so i was just curious mm -hmm. if they you know had an expansion or and then remember when uh, Green Mountain Economic Development was here, they were talking about that big daycare they're doing on Slack Hill and Randolph. And right. I mean, but, and I know there's one at Gifford, and, but it is a school <coughs> care, and, right. you know, sometimes it's. Sometimes and, 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 and all the different communities do things a little bit different. You know, some towns have a pretty active recreational yeah, department. Like that, Randolph does that summer program. You know, so they're. And, and, and I think a lot of this is not so much the really younger kids it's more of the you know i don't know i'll say you know eight to twelve year olds or something like that yeah. the ones that aren't quite there yeah. yet but mm -hmm. don't need that you know one-on-one yeah. -on -one attention all the time um, mm -hmm. that they're kind of looking for so that's where some of the ideas was 
reaching into the community of either, you know, asking, you know, the downtown business owners like, hey, we need this, like, is there any way you can make this happen? Or partnering with the town to say, hey, would you like to grow your recreation department? Or, right. you know, like something like that. Or and, the school investment. And it sounds like the school is sitting here like, we have the funds, we just don't The thing know about how the to make this thing go yet. They're at an advantage over us because they have a kitchen, they have yeah. the bathrooms, they have the they're infrastructure, all, the accessibility, yeah. the outside, and mm -hmm. so it is, it's too bad that they couldn't, um, you know, if there was maybe teachers or staff that wanted to run a, a program, you know, after school mm -hmm. or, in, or some, in the summer that could, because that's the hard part is there's, we don't have it here, it's like we're, you know what I mean, it's like the perfect mm -hmm. sign of, but it's also hard because I know when my kids were, young they didn't want to do the summer program because they're like we're in school all year mom yeah. we do not want to be there in the summer <laughs> and right. so it would then we would try but to I find just other always... outside you know um, rec programs or different things they could right. do in the summer yeah. so and i always just think because the pool is so closely <coughs> related yeah, to the absolutely. school that you have that summer yeah you know maybe there's something there um but also we you know we've talked about how do we grow our recreational facility exactly. year-round too, yeah. right? At some point we yeah. have talked I, about how do we make this a year-round thing. Yeah, I um, think you hire a rec director to start and maybe whatever the years are to do some programming to increase your family fund Fridays to increase, you know, programming through the summer. Maybe you try different, you know, camps throughout the summer for certain ages and, you know, it's whether the town of Bethel, whether the voters in Bethel want to make a commitment to do that. And yeah, I but wonder there's definitely maybe, a way to do it. maybe if, like, recreational committee could get tasked with maybe looking at, you know, some linkages between the school and how something like that may or may mm -hmm. not look. Well, is that what Mary, is it? Oh, Mary Shell. Yeah. yeah. And I think she's out. already been. Yeah, she's kind of, working. I know she'd reached out to some staff members about making, or, Somebody had about making appointments to see them, but it hasn't happened yet. I know well, someone was supposed to have an appointment with, with um, Dietrich about the pool, but it hasn't materialized yet. Well, so she's I'm, just waiting I'm here quickly back finding here. out that there's a lot of action committees and things, but it doesn't seem like <laughs> things go much further than that. So <laughs> I, th hard. I think, you know, a like we are a board of action, kitchen, right? mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. that it takes a lot more to get that cart rolling over there. Yeah. So. Um, but maybe it's just something to think of. We're talking about, you know, yep. things for the downtown. Yeah, and, I'll make uh, ask Dietrich you know, if she's, you know, if she's heard from Mary yeah. Shell. And they basically said that they have the money. Just well, they they're having trouble just staffing. Sure. The like school. Right them now. and no. everybody yeah. else. Yeah. Well, and I think teachers are so burnt out from the last few years that the yeah. normal crew of people who would do those summer programs are saying, no, I'm actually taking my summer off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I had spoken with someone and, and said, you know, boy, wouldn't it be nice if we were going to do something like that, this, you know, the school or someone to, you know, you have Castleton, so you're graduating new teachers out of Castleton and out of what UVM and I think Champlain it'd be nice in a way because I know people who've come out of school and they've left the state of Vermont because it was hard to find jobs and mm -hmm. it would be you know it would be nice especially Castleton right there if you could you know I wonder if they have some young people who could you know well, they have it so summer. tough I mean to try to attract somebody when you're paying them you know low low wage you know yeah. not to mention you have the uncertainty of the retirement system and you know there's yeah. so many things that are ironed out that don't, don't make it very attractive right now no it's hard um, i was just thinking get ironed out. if they could create something with the castle for kids that maybe even are yeah. juniors or theater yeah. program in yeah hmm. exactly to kind of create some relationship between Castleton and uh, you know gives kids real world experience and sure. stuff i don't know it's it's staffing is it's a nightmare right now yeah. for everybody. Mm -hmm. yeah. For everybody and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Anything else to come before the board? What, what was it you added to the agenda? Did we the go The roofing bid. The oh, roofing. Okay. Yeah. Did. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.